Hey, welcome back to the channel. Oh, get my mic right. Sorry about that. You probably couldn't hear me. All right, here we go. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evan, and today we're going to talk about Alabama left tackle Evan Neal. Uh, really excited to, to watch this film, and I've watched a couple games, and this dude is a dude. And um, I'm going to go out there and say it before I've even looked at a number of other tackles. Before I've looked at a number of other tackles, he might be OL1. And I'm saying that this, this will be the first O-lineman I've looked at this season. He might be OL1. It's going to be tough for me to find somebody out there that's better than Evan Neal. Let's get into the film. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that. Well, check that. Say that wrong. If you like the content, while it's going on, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more of this, hit subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified when they randomly drop because this is a random Saturday morning. Well, it's probably Saturday afternoon by the time this come out. And um, we're going to get started right now. So in my eyes, the mark of a good lineman is what do you do on your solo blocks, so whether it be down blocks or whether it be um, some kind of drive block or or maybe, some, you know, working outside zone. Uh, what do you do with double teams? How well do you work double teams? And how well can you pull? And how well do you work on the second level? Those are the four to five things I look for in old line. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, in watching film versus um, Cincinnati and Georgia, I don't recall Neil pulling. So you won't see any pulling on this film. So I'll have to go back and dive deeper into the season and see if there's film on him pulling. But not in the, on this film, you won't see him pulling. You'll get a good example of a pass pro. Oh, I forgot to mention pass pro. You'll get a good example of pass pro, down blocks. And I think I maybe have one or two negative plays in here where I think he kind of got off balance and, and, you know, lost his technique. But without further ado, let's dive into this Evan Neal film and um, get to it. Evan Neal is right here, number 73, left tackle for Alabama. First play, I think, is a down block. placement that's what i like when, and if you've been here before you know i talk about when you down block you got to bite the shoulder pad and i'm gonna stop it right when and that's a term that you really not biting the shoulder pad right there your face mask on the shoulder pad that's great leverage now this cat right here if he continues to go that way he's just gonna wash him down if he tries to fight back over the top he can't because he he got great leverage with this shoulder right here on the back shoulder Head in the middle of his body. That shoulder on the front shoulder. Great technique. Great. And, and watching this film, except for the two plays or three plays that I got him with bad technique, his 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 stuff is flawless. His technique is flawless. That's, and that's why I went out there, you know, early in the video and said this might be O line one from the jump. And I ain't looked at a lot of other guys, but let, let's continue. See if I can slow it down. I want him finish. And number four, who to run out there? Number four knows who to run out, or run behind, rather. Now again, we don't see him pull, but that don't mean he that don't mean he can't maneuver in open space. Watch the footwork. Get up to the second level guy, and that's probably a safety. You can see it from the backside. Seventy-three again, left tackle. Right there. Yeah, that's like a that's a linebacker. Thirteen's a linebacker. No crossover steps. That's what I want to see. No, watch the no crossover steps. Everything's straight run. Still hadn't crossed over. Got his hands in decent placement. Hands in decent placement. It's a great job of blocking the space. Great job of blocking the space without holding. I'm telling you, this man's technique is flawless when he do it right. And it ain't a lot of times that he don't do it right. All right, let's check Let's check out his pass pro, pass pro right here. Again, right here, 73, left tackle. Got that kick before 18, can even get out of the step. Got that playing foot back down. 
Now, both feet on the ground. That's solid. You 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 never as an O lineman want to have almost like when you're clapping your heels. Look at that base. Look at the base. Still a good base. Still a good base. But that's perfect. You got knee bend. Hold on, what my what you got, man? You got knee bend. You got bend here, and you got bend there. That's perfect. I'm telling you, technique sound, man. This dude has it. He has it. I right, just work your feet. Hands hands inside. Get a little help right there at the end. So that, that help didn't even matter because he had him by himself. The dude's technique is flawless. And I'm going to keep preaching technique this entire film. This entire film. All right, next phase of his, of his game. Getting the second level. And getting the second level. Look at the big boy. Now, again, we don't see him pull. That don't mean he can't move. So is this is this stretch right? Let me see. It's outside zone right. So he, his job, let me go back to the beginning. Outside zone right. His job is to try to cut this dude off. And he already got pursuit angle. He, he got a better angle on 73. 73 has to go where he's projected to be. Because if he goes right there, he's not going to be there. So he got to take a good angle, which I didn't even mention angle. You got to take this angle to cut him off. And then once he get his hands on him, watch what happens. Got his hands on him right there. Now it's going to be Pancake City. Bring the syrup. 81 get a little piece of him, but that's Pancake City by Evan Neal. Get the syrup out. Again, you don't see him pull, but that don't mean the big fella can't move. Now, this play right here is just a straight-up mauling. And I had to do it in, in the wide view because the play, the actual play goes to the right. The actual mauling and illegal activity that happens goes to the left. This is our guy right here, Neil. And this is the, the victim of the crime that's about to happen. I'm going to slow this down. We're going to slow this down, so it may take a second on this one. So you can see the 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 mauling that's about to happen. All right, ball snap. Now they're they're up front. They're running outside zone left, so it's some kind of RPO because I, I guess he's reading this linebacker. That's what, it looks like Bryce is looking at this linebacker, and he didn't move, so they're gonna throw the ball out here somewhere. But watch what seventy three does. Great technique. Again, hand outside. Replace the hand. He replaced the hand. Now he, he, he's inside. Here comes the mauler. Where you going, son? Uh-uh. Don't run. Don't turn your back. I'm going to get it from the back, too. That man tried to turn his back to it. He's like, uh-uh. We can get it from the back, too. <laughs> Again. More more prime prime example of and Cincinnati D was good. According to all the stats and what everybody was talking about, Cincinnati's D was good. But no, I ain't gonna make that joke. Alright, so that was Cincinnati. Now we're gonna move on to the Georgia film. This is from the uh national championship game, not the not the um SEC championship. This one the national championship game. And uh probably get a little better caliber D lineman. And again, I remember I said I was gonna try to do their best game and their um best competition so georgia was i think their best competition by far in both games and uh because they ran it so easily down cincinnati's throat that's why i picked cincinnati for the first game but let's get with their best competition and this is georgia right here again Nell is a left tackle against number 44 there's some high caliber defense alignment up here now so we'll, we'll probably see a little, little bit better picture of or not a little bit better picture but a little bit more competition Better competition, same result. Same result. Same result. Got the outside zone steps. Working to the midpoint. Look at the look at the, the bend. Look at the bend. I bet I didn't mean to do it right. Look at the bend. Bend there. Bend there. Bend there. Hands inside. Perfection. 
Hands inside. Now drive. No crossover steps. Just driving. Look at the hole he made. Look at that gap he made. Look at this gap. He made that. He made that. All right. Now let's get into some pass pro. Stands. I, I didn't even mention the stands. He Look at his stands and look at 79 stands. And you tell me who's more athletic. You can look at the stands and tell me who's more athletic. Look at it. He's deeper in it. Got that good flexion on the, the knee right there. And 79 ain't bad, but it's obvious that Neil's the better athlete right here. Kick. One foot up, one foot down. One foot down, the other foot up. One foot down, one foot up. Never clapping. Never clapping. Now look at his hands. Hold on, let me go back a little bit. One foot down, one up. One down, one up. Now shoot the hands. Boom. Take away his hands. Now my hands inside. Perfect hand placement right there. Perfect hand placement. Now it's a dance. Now it's a dance. Pie face you. Mush you out. Hit you with that ghost on Tasha when, when she was talking crazy. Mush you out. And just dance. Move your feet. Technique. Sound. Sound, I'm telling you. Sound. All right, we got more pass pro right here. Boom. Boom. The two-step. Boom. Boom. One foot down, one up. One foot down, one up. Never clapping. Never clapping. Now, it's 44 tries to use that one arm, but Neil got long arms too. But long enough. I don't know exactly how long his arms are yet. Now, he, 44 had him a little bit. Let me see if I can go back a little bit. At this point, 44 kind of got him on his, you know, got him pushing him back a little bit. Now, what you're going to see is, and I don't know how subtle it is, you're going to see him drop that. And when he dropped that, all that, that backwards movement going to stop. Drop, sink your hips. Stay right there. Now, that back of movement stopped. Lowered his ankle. And that, that, that little semi-bull rush you thought you had was over with. Now, again, it ain't all gravy. And this this could be miscommunication. It could be bad eyesight. And it could be just a good play by Georgia. But Neil missed the stunt right here. And I'm going to watch it from the wide view and the the um, the back the backside view. This is Evan Neil right here. Four slants across his face. And he doesn't see the backer coming, you know, to, to pass that off. Like I said, it could be a number of things. It could be he just missed it. it could be a good good blitz by Georgia. Or it could be just he's not good at picking them up. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm not going to say he. this is a deficiency of him. This may just be one random play that I caught. But I know it's a stunt, and he has to see. When he slants in, he has to see that guy coming. He can't just, He can't marry this guy right here. And 73, not 73, 70 sees him coming and he should pick him up so his eyes got to he got to have the head on the swivel and see seven coming and saying this could be just a great play by georgia too could be just a great play by georgia but that's the only negative that's the only negative i have on this video about neil right there the only negative and again we talked about we not been able, we have not seen him pull on this tape or very much at all but um that don't mean he can't move. That don't mean he can't move. This is a tunnel screen out to the left. It's gonna be a tunnel screen to the left. Watch the big fella get on this horse. And I'm not gonna slow motion. I'm gonna I'm gonna wa watch it regular speed first, so you can you can witness how fast and how agile this kid is. Then I'm gonna slow it down to to let you see his running form, cause he don't run like a sloppy lineman. Hmm. He knocked George guy out and his guy. <laughs> he knocked George guy out and his guy. Do that. Cheek to cheek with them arms. Cheek to cheek. Get out there and run, big fella. Cheek to cheek with them arms. That's not like that. But deliver the blow. Boom. Knock both of them out. Now, your guy ain't any collateral damage out. Get him out of here. 
got him off his feet. Now, because it blurred out a little bit when you we, on from this view, watch it from the the all twenty two. Watch it from the all twenty two. All right, this is Neil right here. This is him right here. Right there. Watch this. Run, fella. Both of y'all get out the club. I don't care if y'all was friendly. Get out the club. And that's the last play I got on Evan Neal. You know, this is tough to to find a hold on. Hold on, hold on one second. It's gonna be tough to find a uh, if you can find a, a O line a tackle better than this dude, and you can prove it to me on film. I cash up your five. I know that ain't a lot, but still, I just want to throw the challenge out there. If you can find a better tackle that's coming out in this draft, better than Evan Neal, I cash up your five. I know that ain't five dollars, but still, it's the challenge. You the challenge for all, everybody that does this type of thing that I do, and you watch my channel. And don't give me no highlights. You got to prove it to me on film. If there's a better tackle in this coming draft, better than Evan Neal, I'll honor that that little challenge. But um, he's my O-line one for two reasons. He's the first O-lineman I've done. And I just don't think it's a better guy out there. This might be the best, since I've been doing this for three or four years, this might be the best O-line tape, college tape, tackle tape that I've seen maybe and there's been some good guys out there but this may be the best college tape that I've seen especially from a technique standpoint just look at all those angles his body angles his leverage uh his feet being able to get on second level you can watch all these Alabama games and you can just you're gonna see some of the stuff I pointed out over 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 again so you know they lost to Georgia but it, it couldn't really put it on him that their weapons were limited in, in my opinion but this is Evan Neal's tape. Uh, this is Sip the Tyler Fans. I'm Coach Evans. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me, and I appreciate you guys. Make sure if you like this video, hit that like button before you get out of here. If you want to be here for the rest of the draft video, subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be notified, and share them. Share them and help the channel grow. And I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the Patreons and uh, everybody that hits the Cash App, PayPal, and I forgot the other thing. But appreciate you guys. Coach Evans out.